This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I've got a little bit of a special for you guys. I'm going to give you the arty guide to highway. Now this is a double feature episode from both sides of the map. And I'm going to show you kind of the way I play the map and you know show you where I look and when I look to try to get some damage. And I'll try to explain myself on the way through. So you guys know that I prefer Artie over pretty much every class just for the uh, salt factor that it, en it entails on people. Like, people cannot stand artillery. And it's all because they do not avoid you. It's not hard to play away from Artie. You're going to get killed once in a while, but for the most part, you can avoid it. Now, you see, I get into the water. The water's not deep enough to drown me. So that means I can fire from the water, and that also means anybody that returns fire at me unless they hit me, they're not going to kill me with splash damage. So I'm watching the billboard straight across right away, and I want to kind of uh, wait for somebody to get spotted. Now, usually there's a small contingent of mediums and light tanks that go to the left from the base. Maybe a straggling tank destroyer, but generally speaking, from their base you'll see a small group of people break left. And that's who I'm waiting for. Uh, if you can win the left early, you can win the map easily uh, when you're spawning from this side. So having a small group of tanks on ours, of ours go after a small group of tanks of theirs can end very well for us. Now right off the bat you notice their whole team is pretty much heavy tanks with two mediums and a tank destroyer. That means most of their team is most likely going to the city, um, which is you know where heavies fight out. So, nobody is being spotted over here. Oh, there we go. And the moment I look away, somebody gets spotted. So, I can't help it. You know, I'm already committed to this side now. I need to help these guys win against these heavy tanks. Most of their team are heavies. Most of them are going to be in the city. So, you see the E5 was pretty well covered. I've got a gap in the buildings. I've got two uh, squishy eight, eight, eh, tier 8 tanks shot out at the gap. And we land in a decent spot that I thought would be able to get some damage, but that first tank must have got through. Now this T-57 has left himself wide open. And you also notice that when you park in the zero column, you get a wide open shot on these guys in this corner. So they have, ex they have literally landed themselves right where we want them. Come on, E-5's not going to stick his nose out. T-57, are you going to get spotted for me? Doesn't appear to. Our guys have taken the front of the city, and our... Oh, T-57 Heavy is there. Shot out. Pow! 559. Not a big hit, but one to get his attention. And, you know, the IS-7 pushes straight across and gets right into a corner. Um, and the only way out of this, he's going to have to back up. He's going to get shot in the process. And uh, it's not, not what you want to do. He played that very poorly. E-5 comes out. We've got shots on him as well. And wait for it. Shot out. Pow! 509. Not a great hit, but one that was, you know, effective. Now, you'll notice from this position, this town is very linear. And so there are a lot of little crevices that your shot will not be blocked by. But there's also a lot of stuff that will block your shots at angles. So keep that in mind. Go for the shots that you know uh, you're going to be shooting straight at, pretty much, rather than having these angles because you're, you're going to have a lot of stuff in your way otherwise. Now, haven't really done a whole lot. we got about a thousand damage right now. And we're just trying to find... Oh, squishy tank. And I say squishy tank. It's not. It's a Jag E100. But he's broadside on to an 8-inch howitzer. Shot out. Pow! <laughs> 1792. We set him on fire. That was a paddling. Now, that guy was going back to defend the base because he saw some guys chasing his artillery and he has royally screwed up because the moment that I drop him it says it's bullvibe but I think it's midnight joker <laughs> Ready to fire. rolls out and just clips him now I've got that that already lit up I know where he's at 
but the actual bat chat is more of a threat and then I'm like alright midnight you're not gonna get him I'm gonna go ahead and take him out take the arty off the board because if you forget it already you're gonna regret it pop goes the weasel now that shot didn't actually hit him but did kill him with splash even though it hit the water so uh, you know that's just a little bit of luck on our part because usually splash into water severely reduces your amount of damage that you do now this bat chat is sitting still which is not what you do in a bat chat I don't know what he's thinking but you know waiting for them to shoot him they do and now we're back to the E100 the IS-7 and the T-57 E-100 he's the armored of the three so we're gonna go for him and come on baby come on baby light my fire shot out pow 329 he's tracked he cannot move and tank destroyer rolls up and drops him t-57's in a heck of a pickle he's down and that leaves the is-7 in the back wait for it pow <laughs> contact yahoo coming through in the clutch all right so not a bad game there but you got a little bit of an idea from that 3800 damage one kill not bad not playing with premium contact right below me 3300 one kill it's good already work on that map um and like i said this isn't a thorough go through show everybody everything kind of thing it is basically me showing what i do and why i'm doing it so that people who may be starting out can see you know how maps play out and now we're going to spawn in the south and i'll show you from here now from the south there really isn't a whole lot you can do you can go down to the water where we saw the bat chat already in the last one you can stay up here at k1 and either go up on the hill or sit back personally i like to go up on the little hill first and then if i have to i can fall back but generally speaking I go on top of the hill and again I look left first because if you lose the left from this side early you'll lose the match most of the time just like they lost that match in the last one because you get f flanking shots on all the guys that go to the city so right off the bat I'm already looking right where the most likely spot somebody will get spotted and right there we go like is spotted He's 1.9 seconds out, and shot out. Oh, we just undershot him. He almost drove right into it. He does not want anything to do with that. He's circled around, and now he's driving right back the way he was. And it's going to get him killed, I believe. Now, our guys have to be careful, because they were spotted, and there could be people at the base shooting at them. And that is not preferable. So again, I know the light tank's there. There he is. He's spotted again. He's not going to go away. I'm waiting for the other guys that are there to support him. He's not doing this out of his own free will. He's being supported and he's trying to spot people for them. So I'm just waiting, being patient. And AT-15 is the first one to die. That's not good. M43 most likely with an 8-inch howitzer. That was probably a paddling. But we're waiting. Just got to bide our time. They will show up. They always do. As soon as we can see something. Now, we've got a lot of guys over in the bay or over in the city. Okay? But they have three mediums and two lights. I have to believe that they're going to be coming across that left side. I'm surprised they haven't been spotted yet. There it is. They were hanging way back behind the cover. And it's a smart play. But at the same time, I knew they had to be there. Because the mediums almost always push across that field early in this match. So it was just a matter of time. And now we're waiting for something to be spotted. Now we've got a medium in the swamp. Now his his mobility is severely limited shot out pow <laughs> 1903 backside to an 8 inch howitzer that's a paddling 
Waffentrager Alfie 100 squishy tank 13 seconds and then I'm gonna try to get paddling number two so targets of opportunity that that's another big thing to look for that medium tank was in the water his mobility is severely limited due to that and then he went backside trying to run away from us and he cannot outrun our our bullets it's just the way it works he cannot outrun a shell now we can see the Roomba that was there is breaking the buildings. We're just kind of waiting for him to get respotted again. And we're talking to our platoon mate the entire time. Like, hey, dude, spot and I will help you. The 121's right there. Kind of begging for it, but he knows better. He's playing safe. Playing arty safe right now. When he knows he's spotted, he's trying not to get shot by me. He saw what happened to the AMX-30. And that's exactly what will happen to him if he stays out. Now, where did that Roomba go? Oh, we've got a light tank encroaching on our position. It is a Lycan. Come on, Spartan. Get on point. Wait for it. Wait for it, and pow! <laughs> Get off my base! <laughs> go back to the garage, sunshine. You tried to come after Artie, and you got exactly what you wanted, which was Artie coming after you. Now you see our guys all jumped right back to me too. They're like, ah, we got to go protect our artillery. They've been doing really well. Yeah, you're right. So now we know the 121 was down there, and now the Bat Chat's not at the front line. So we have a tank destroyer headed back to that hill, which could be the last thing he ever does if he gets spotted. 121 is begging for it. We're not aimed in yet. We're just going to, you know, wait for a good shot. He's on the back side of a hill, so we got to be careful that it doesn't undershoot or overshoot. And we're just going to wait. Now, we've got guys spotted in the middle. So I pan over. Come on, what do we got? We got the Lycan again. Oh, Waffentrager Alfie 100. Come get you some of that. Shot out. Pow! A thousand. Nice. It's a good roll. We didn't hit the turret, we hit the front of him. So we didn't pin, but at the same time, we got a good roll. And he dies. We get the track target hit from the Death Star. Now that 121 is still there. He wasn't pushing. He was afraid of whatever we've got facing him. And I can't really blame him because he's one of the last people alive on his team. Plus, he's got three arties, so he doesn't have to push up. But now he's tracked. Second arty shot inbound. We set him on fire with a roll of 666. And then he dies. So, because he wasn't pushing, I went towards the Waffentrager instead, targets of opportunity. Um, and now they're already moved way up for some reason. Bat Chat 155.55. So, the entire time that. Oh, and the other Artie's right there as well. Okay, so our guys are at their base, so that makes sense. And shot out on the M55. Ugh, he got out of there just in time. I should have known that's where he would be heading because that building's indestructible. So, you know, that's a thing. But Eric puts him down with the T92. Good old Thunderdome comes through. Bat Chat 155.55. If I was loaded, I'd clip him. But we've got a Bat Chat coming in the back door. Come on, Bat Chat. There you go. And that's the last one down. Six hits, three kills. Not bad. Couple good paddlings in there. And, you know, not a bad overall game. And you guys got to see from the south 39.92, three kills. You got to see from the south how I play the match. Top of the leaderboard in Anardi, you gotta love it. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.